Hi there, this is going to be a general daily reading for Wednesday, November 6th. And reminder, this is general, it's not going to resonate with everybody, okay? If it resonates, it resonates, and if it don't, it don't. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's xi underscore missy underscore xi. And I tend to go live there almost every day. We were talking about it this morning, how, you know, the moodiness of the energy, the scorpionic energy, has been kind of consuming people yesterday and today. Myself, personally, okay, we're all just kind of feeling it. Justice, angel of integrity. So this is Libra energy, or this is also karmic justice. For some of you, this is legal proceedings. I saw that in my head. It's like somebody going to a lawyer. This may be for child support. Maybe for divorce, maybe for, yeah, endings. Mm -hmm. So this would be definitely ending of, let's say, divorce. I, I was talking about this on live, that a very big number of people have messaged me and said within the past like two weeks or so, people that they have been, that, that could be their person or a person, a person of interest, Okay, let's put it, put it this way. A person of interest who used to wear a wedding ring no longer does. I know it was like seven or eight people that messaged me in the past two weeks saying that they're a person of interest. All of a sudden, and, and this is where they don't even talk to the person too. They go, oh my God, I saw him at the coffee shop. He don't got a ring on. So they don't know for sure that, oh, it's a divorce. Oh, they got separated. They don't know this for sure. Well, a couple of them know for certain, but uh, the majority of them didn't. There are endings happening here. There may be people finally, finally ending their karmic relationships because justice is also karma. Finally, we have Six of Swords resolution, putting closure to this for many people, okay? Um, maybe for many people, the reason they didn't come forward is because they were in a relationship or you were, right? Take it as it resonates. Five of Pentacles, isolation. Definitely singlehood. And then the tower, angel of enlightenment. This is divorce. This is a breakup if we're talking marriage. That's what the tower is. When we're talking and we feel the energy of a relationship or committed whatever. Tower come in, it's a breakup. It's divorce. Angel of enlightenment. Maybe it's the aha moment of which somebody or the both of them go, this ain't working, boo. And I think that what we're doing is making it worse. There's nothing worse than people thinking that they need to stay together for the kids because it's actually teaching your kids what love doesn't look like. They should see their parents deeply in love. They should feel that, right? Because a lot of times love is not what I see, it's what I feel. And children are very intuitive. They pick up on things, y'all. Yeah? They can feel when there's a disconnect. They can feel when two people are just not feeling it. They can feel that. And some people are so worried about, well, what are the kids going to say? Well, it'll be tough at first. Obviously, it's tough for even adults at first. Everyone affected, it's going to be tough. But it's like your karmic lesson is self-love and it's settling. And not only that, how can you say you care about a person even if you're no longer in love with them, right? Because many people, they go, I'm not in love with them no more, but I still care about them. Well, if you care about them, why are you keeping them trapped in this relationship with you when they also deserve, just like you, to be free and single so that they can find someone who truly absolutely adores them? This is coming to an end, any relationships. It's so funny too, because I got the first message and I went, oh, okay. Second message, third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight. Watch how many messages I'm gonna get now that I'm talking about it on this video. It's happening. It's this wave of holy shit. The karmic relationships for some are finally ending, like actual taking the rings off, calling the attorneys, proceeding right six of pentacles or excuse me six of swords is moving forward moving forward in proceedings here progress the tower is sealing the deal it's breakup or divorce the page of cups friendship we have the seven of swords theft well some people might be seven of cups choices some people may be getting divorced because they had a friend on the side right and it could be that way too seven of cups is choices it's like 
I have so many things to choose from right now. It's almost like somebody is saying to their partner or their person or is being told this from their partner or person. I have a lot going on right now. I almost hear them saying those exact words. I have a lot going on right now. I don't have time for love. It's something to that effect of the love thing is becoming, it's not a priority on their plate or some shit like that. It feels that way. But this is the thing, right? They feel that way about their partner or their person and then watch when they meet the person. It's zing. It's tower moment all over again. I'm not looking for love. It's I have a lot on my plate already. I'm focused on this. I'm doing that. Scorpio energy, right, is very focused. They're very dedicated to what they're doing, right? They're very consumed by it. And it's like these people here want to be consumed by non-love things to get their mind off love because it could be getting out of some shit in love. But then they see the person that is the person and then it's like they can't, I can't help falling in love with you from last year honey i've been channeling the shit out of the emperor has fallen like a river flows surely to the sea Woo-hoo. darling so it goes some things are meant to be as men say only fools rush in but i can't help falling in love with you luckily no glass broke in here now hopefully in your side everything's okay there because as you know these pipes right here is good for some shit, but it ain't good for singing, okay? Now, what came out was the strength card, which could be Leo. We have also here the Wheel of Fortune, the Angel of Destiny. The wheel turns. <sighs> Destined and faded encounters. This is also stumbling very serendipitously upon the one. I feel like our angel guides and spirit guides are just sitting there going, Oh my god it's about time because this couldn't happen until this shit right here ended they're sitting there going good lord they waited till the last second at the midnight hour wasn't even the 11th hour the clock was just about to strike midnight and i mean they just they waited but it's a tough decision i don't want my boo to be not sure he go, oh, I don't know, man, if I really do love her or I don't. I want you to think about it. I want you to ponder it. I want you to analyze it, pro and con it. Don't come to me if you ain't sure. I need you to be very sure that this is done and over. That karmic cycle ended. You learned your lessons both, you know, and here we are. The wheel is going to turn and it's going to bring serendipitous, see, two of cups, partnership serendipitous encounters it will be i'm telling you it's serendipitous holy shit three bad bitches in a row we have the empress the angel of abundance this is pregnancy or this is mother okay so she's pregnant this is also birth of pure abundance so going into this new cycle with the wheel of fortune it's this abundant new chapter or book Okay, pregnancy is also on the horizon for some of you getting out of this. You may get pregnant with somebody immediately after, but it's the one. People might judge the shit out of you too. If you end a relationship and boom, you jump right back into another one. But if it's love, it's love. Because I told you, this ends almost instantaneously. This is brought to you because they've been waiting on your ass. Queen of Cups, sensitivity, and the Queen of Pentacles, comfort. This the same bitch. You are going to have to be open and vulnerable for this to come. You have to, I'm telling you right now, it won't work any other way. You have to be open and vulnerable, okay? Queen of Pentacles is comfort. See how she's actually holding on to this pentacle, but it almost looks like she's offering it. Her eyes are closed also. She's offering it. 
rabbits are about fertility. This is an egg. She's offering that up. That's, I'm telling you, it's a pregnancy. It's a pregnancy for sure. She's offering it, a part of her. Maybe she said, I ain't having no more damn kids. Or maybe she never had kids because she never had the right partner. She never had a partner. And she was celibate, single all this time. This person come in, she gives them this something so, something priceless that money can't buy. Oh, two in a row. Knight of Cups with Spirituality, Four of Pentacles, Control. <sighs> Releasing how this happens. Maybe religion, for some of you guys, told you it had to be like this. Maybe they're not the same religion as you. Maybe two totally different backgrounds, our beliefs. Don't let that control this, this particular situation. Love is love. Love has no color, no face. Love has no gender. Love has no religion. Don't try to control this. Someone comes in totally different from who you are. Judgment, angel of the past. It's a final decision here though. This is definitely something very final, stamped. We're done. And then now something new actually just, it's almost like instantly king of cups, commitment, told you. He ends something here or she ends something here. Boom, instantaneously something new begins. Or somebody is brought into the life serendipitously, okay? Eight of Pentacles was flipped over, dedication. Had this twice, Eight of Pentacles from two different decks in my life. Scorpio energy is very focused and very determined. Remember I said that? They are very focused not to fall in love. <laughs> Looking for love in all the wrong places. It wasn't even that, honey. Oh, I love Urban Cowboy. It's like one of my favorite movies. I love the soundtrack. Um, it wasn't even that. It was you weren't looking, period. Love always comes when you're not looking, huh? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy right here. But any sign who wants to offer commitment, I'm ready now. Because this is the right person. Damn, you just said you were never going to get married ever again. You said you wasn't, wasn't going to have no more kids. You said you were too busy for love. But when it's the one, it's the one, isn't it? Oh, told you this is marriage. I'm channeling the shit out of marriage as well as a lot of other people and my close friends to, to me. You freaking have wedding. This situation involves marriage and honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. One committed relationship ends for a whole nother to begin. And the new relationship that begins, like this, they get married. Like this, they start a family. Because it's the right person. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And people are going to judge. Remember we are talking about the Bears Hammond song. The whole, they're going to talk, they're going to judge. I've always said this since last year. People are haters. They're going to really be envious of what you have. Because maybe it's you hooked up with the golden boy or the golden girl that everybody wants. Maybe it's because, you know, they look at you and they go, damn, how did they, how did that happen? Shit, they're so lucky. Like, I can't find nobody. They found somebody back to back. But it's not that you was looking for somebody back to back. It just happened. Look at that. No. Told you something's ending. You still love me? No. Do you see us working out? No. Do you think we should stay together? No. That's that kind of conversation. I'm telling you right now. That's that shit. mark with yes you cannot make it up you cannot make this up it's no i don't love you no more nope it's not gonna work out no i don't want to get married again nope i don't want to have a kid or more kids no you meet the right person yes Yes, I want to be in a relationship with you. Yes, I want to love you. Yes, I'll marry you. Yes, I want to have your baby or I want to impregnate you with my child. Yes. You cannot make this shit up. Like I, I sound redundant when I say that, but it's the truth. I am so shocked even at myself sometimes when reading the cards. Holy shit. It's a no and then it's an immediate yes. You can't script it. 
you can't script it. Now, I want to talk about something. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, you will know that I talked about, I you know, was waiting for my Labradorite beads for my bloom bracelets, right? Which are going out this week. By the end of this week, they're going out. But what came in the mail was this really dark color, okay? It was like a couple strands, and they were like, oh, the rest is back ordered, and then back ordered, and then... I was gonna send them out today re to return them because I got the right colored ones, right? The light colored Labradorites. And so last night I was packing them up and Spirit said, nah, I don't know if you should send them back because I think that they're gonna be very useful for Scorpio season. And I was like, what the hell? So anyways, I was channeling it last night and uh, very unexpectedly, and I feel like this is so symbolic on so many levels, very unexpectedly, a new bracelet emerged with black Labradorite beads. Only during Scorpio season will this be available. So whatever I put up for pre-orders is all that there is going to be. Meaning only the strands I have in hand, that is it. And it's only during Scorpio season. There really are no accidents, even though this was an accident when it came, but it really wasn't. I named it the dark side of the moon because they kept saying that to me. They said, remember yesterday, Missy, you were talking about the dark side of the moon? And it's like the quote, they kept showing it to me. She's like the moon. A part of her is always hidden away. And this is about us taking what's brewing or hiding beneath the surface, right? And helping it come to full fruition and bloom. But those things of which even we hide from ourselves. All those things for our greater good. But bear in mind, this is Scorpio season. So a lot of purging of things is coming up, toxicities. So it may not be the most la di di la di da season. But this Labradorite, if you know Labradorite stones, they're absolutely powerful. I felt that, and they're going to do the same exact thing. They're Labradorite, right? It's crystals. It's just the shade of it. But the shade of it is so gorgeous. It's like a dark gray, slightly black with some gray and blue tones. And here's my new bracelet. That There's not gonna be very much available and when it goes, it goes. And maybe I'll bring it back next Scorpio season. I've never done an actual Scorpio or Zodiac sign bracelet. And I don't know, I just felt drawn to do it and I always trust my gut and my gut's always on point as you guys can see. So if you would like to purchase this particular new bracelet that just came out last night called Dark Side of the Moon Bloom Bracelet, click on the link below, it'll take you to my website. And again, I was trying to return them, but shit happens in life, y'all. Isn't that so funny? It's, <laughs> it was exactly like this card. Nope, don't want it. Nope, mm -mm, not interested. And then all of a sudden, yes. That's exactly what happened with me, but except with my bracelets. All right, you guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, I want to thank you all for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. I know I don't get to come live on YouTube very often as I go live every day on my Instagram, and I promise you I'm going to make more of an effort to come live on YouTube for you guys, okay, like I used to before. Have a beautiful day. I love you. Bye.